First at five, gun-related deaths hit a historic high across the country and here in Arkansas. Thanks for watching. I'm Marlisa Goldsmith. And I'm Roly Hoyt. This new CDC study comes as Little Rock continues dealing with a surge in violent crime. Homicides here have risen 70% in just the last five years. THV 11's Ashley Godwin found out what may be causing the drastic increase and how we could get those numbers down. A lot of our uh, violent crime, especially homicides, uh, come from domestic violence and an increase in acquainted violence. Arkansas's capital city has had record-breaking homicide rates recently. In comparison to this time last year, we have 10 more murders, which is a 48% increase. LRPD says most of those involve a gun. Yes, uh, a, a large portion of them, yes. New statistics from the CDC show a drastic increase from 2019 to 2020 where someone was murdered with a firearm up 35 percent. We were obviously not prepared for uh, what the pandemic and the social isolation and the restrictions that were placed on individuals, what it would do to the general population as a whole. Dr. Terry Richard, UALR's sociology professor emeritus, attributes several key factors that contributed to higher crime rates during COVID. Isolation, civil unrest, high gun sales, and increased alcohol use. Those are just not good uh, variables to correlate together. But Dr. Richard says there are solutions that should focus on increased police force with better social emotional training. You would really have to begin to make sure and recruit better educated, uh, more motivated, better paid police. And LRPD says the key to reducing violent crime in the city is to prevent domestic altercations before they escalate. If you're in a domestic situation um, and you give us a call, give our victims uh, advocate unit a call, we'll, we'll definitely be able to help in any way we can. Dr. Richard says it could take one to two years before we see those pre-pandemic levels of violent crime in the nation. In Little Rock, Ashley Godwin, THV 11 News. Thanks so much, Ashley. The agency says it will continue to deliver data on what many see as a growing public health crisis.